Okay, in this video, I want to show you the powerful uh, cross-tab query in Microsoft Access. So let's say I have this table that's called orders. This would be a list of all the individual transactions from a certain company. All right, uh, These are actually the sample files that come with Microsoft Access in the Northwind database. So notice how I have the order ID, the customer, the employee, the order date, and then um, I have the ship country, some different information as well, and then the order amount. Here we have, let's see how many transactions we have. We have 830 records or 830 transactions. So let's say the request is that they want a summary report by country broken down by month. So let's see how we're going to do that. We have a very powerful uh, feature in Access that's called the cross-tab query. Uh, I'm going to pick on the Create menu. This is Access 2010. So I'll pick on Create, and I'm going to pick on the Query Wizard. And we'll pick on the Cross-Tab Query Wizard. I'm going to click on OK. Uh, so this is just a message from my own computer. I'll pick on uh, Open there. OK. So now the Cross-Tab Query Wizard is starting. It says, which table or query contains the fields you want for the Cross-Tab Query? So you pick your table or even a different query. In this case, I am going to pick the table that's called orders. I'll pick on next. Now, a cross tab is actually similar to a pivot table that you might see in Microsoft Excel. So it says, what fields do you want for your row headings? Well, you, you kind of um, think about the report you want to generate. I want to generate a report that's going to be by ship country by month. So that kind of gives you some clues. The ship country might be the... Um, the row heading. So I'll pick on ship country. Actually, I'll double click on that. Now you could actually pick more than one row heading. So you can get uh, subtotals within subtotals when you use multiple fields. But in this case, I'm just going to use the ship country. I'll pick on next. Now it says, what fields do you want for your column headings? You really could use any other field. So if you want to do a cross reference, perhaps on the ship country versus the, um, the, the ship via which is who I shipped it by, then I can use that. So I can really use any other column for the column, uh, for any other field for the column heading. However, if I wanted it by month or by quarter or by year, then you would use a date field. So I'll pick on the order date. Now it knows that I just picked a date field. So um, I can do it by year, quarter, month, date, or even time. So in this case, let's do it by month. Notice the sample down here. I have it by ship country and then by month. I'll pick on next. Now it says, what number do you want calculated for each column and row intersection? So in other words, for each country, for each month, what number do we want to calculate? So usually you would pick some kind of number field, although you don't have to. I want to pick on the order amount. And then over here, we can pick a different type of calculation. So I'll pick on uh, a sum but some other calculations are available. So what am I asking for? I'm saying for each country, for each different month, let's get a sum of the orders for that month. Let's pick on Next. Now we'll pick on Finish, and let's see what we have. Notice what it did. This is a powerful result. Notice for each country, I have the total, then it's actually broken down month by month. So now after just a few minutes, I have a breakdown by country by month very, very quickly, and that's called a cross-tab query in Microsoft Access. All we did was we picked on Create, and then Query Wizard, and then the cross-tab query wizard, and then we just follow the screens. Very, very powerful results there with a cross-tab.